So I picked up this Traxxas Flash a couple of months ago. This is uh, the low center gravity uh, 4x4 Slash. I've wanted one. I found one for a good price, so I end up picking it up. I need to do a couple of things to get it up and going. And so I, I purchased those parts. I've, I put those parts in, and within three battery packs, they've failed. So I just kind of want to go over quickly, uh, I guess, what parts that failed and what I'm changing it to. And hopefully uh, this will fix the problem that I'm having. The problem that I'm having, and uh, I haven't looked on YouTube too much. I'm just kind of going as, as I find this stuff and, and posting videos. But uh, it's, it's the differential that's got the ring gear on it. And what has happened is, first off, this housing comes all as one. Make sure you can see that all right. Actually, let me just uh, put a light on here. So, All right, so um, this housing comes all as one. And the spur gear fits on like so. What happens is, with the power, uh, you get a lot of friction in here with your bearing on there. And eventually... Something breaks, something seizes, something doesn't work. I, I don't know what it is, but it happens. And this is the second time it's happened to me. So instead of replacing another one of these and another one of these housings, filling it with a fluid, having it leak, um, actually this is the first uh, fluid filled differential from Traxxas I've actually had leak, but maybe because it, it's possibly overheating or whatever the problem is, but it's happening. So what I've done to fix this problem Another thing I had the first time was this part, when the bearing went on it, it actually melted this plastic piece as well. These pieces probably have names for them. I don't know what they are. I'll call this Rick and I'll call that Paul. It doesn't really matter. Um, hey, Rick. Hi, Paul. Nonetheless, uh, they keep uh, wearing out on me, breaking, whatever it may be. So what I've done is I've actually gone to my local hobby shop and I've picked up this is part number 6878. This is uh, around $25. What this is is actually the slipper clutch assembly. So it's not the fluid filled. It's the slipper clutch version. I'm hoping now with, with this, I can actually loosen this up so some of the shock will go away. Uh, some of the, wh whatever happens, it will stop doing it because it, it's a pain every three batteries replacing this. Uh, the 4x4 is an amazing truck, but it's it's not any good if you have to keep uh, fixing it every time. So what I've done is I've picked this up. I've also picked up 6893X. And what that comes with is this blue piece here. Uh, let's see if I can get that in the film. Ta-da! That little guy there, which is an aluminum collar. And then it comes with a bearing. That fits over top like so. Try to zoom or focus in on that. Come on, camera. There we go. Almost. Anyway, so uh, I've picked that up. Another thing that I've picked up also is, what is the part number on this guy? 6860R. Now, this was an expensive piece at, uh, what was it, 47 bucks. But it's the aluminum piece. Now I'm, I'm hoping what will happen is now that I have uh, this aluminum sleeve and uh, a good bearing and this aluminum piece, this will actually dissipate the heat better and hopefully things won't uh, melt and die on me. So again, I haven't had a lot of chance to really run this since I have picked it up used. And uh, with that failing on me, it happened... Uh, uh, late in the summer and I just haven't had a chance to get around to it. So anyway, I'll put this in the car and kind of show you what it looks like inside the car. Okay, so that was fairly easy. I now have the new Traxxas uh, motor mount installed, the aluminum motor mount, and I also have the slipper clutch installed. You can see part of it here. Here is the uh, spur gear of the 
slipper clutch. Right here is the motor mount that I just purchased, the Traxxas motor mount. Uh, this is the, I believe, motor mount that came with it. I don't know. I didn't, since I didn't buy this used, I'm not sure if that, that came aluminum or not. But that's what it looks like installed in the vehicle. I hope, again, that this is going to dissipate the heat uh, well enough to be able to uh, not burn out that bearing. The way it's kind of set up on the drive shaft, I've, I've got it set with a little bit of space. Let's see if you can pick that up. It might be a little difficult there. But I have a little bit of uh, free play set up there. Hopefully it's not too far in the shaft, which I'm trying to look through the camera here. Uh, here to give too much play, which will make this wobble too much under torque. Well, I guess I'll see how that goes. So I just have to button it up, put it all back together, and uh, test it out and see how it goes. Hopefully I don't have to worry about uh, any more problems. I won't lie, I'm, I'm really not a big fan of this, this style. Maybe more for racing uh, on the track or different conditions, but uh, for what I'm using for, I just don't think it's uh, what I want. And considering it's failed on me twice already, there's no point. Anyway, again, I thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have uh, or find this uh, video very informative. I will leave you with uh, my rat.